In this week's Fusion 360 training, you learn how to create this computer fan grill. Your learning objectives are to use some of the Fusion 360 tools to both add and remove volume. You will also learn how you can utilize the timeline to edit actions, such as editing web features, and you will also learn how to create a new component and why you should. Another important learning objective is to not mess around so much in the menus. We will be around the center of the canvas most of the time and utilize Fusion 360 shortcuts. Let's get started. Hit keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus S and save your project. Then activate Fusion 360 design shortcuts with keyboard shortcut S. Search for new component and confirm. Your sketches, bodies and your timeline will be collected within this component. Create a new sketch on the flat construction plane. Then create a rectangle. I recommend that you use the center rectangle for this purpose since it will allow you to centralize your component above the origin. Add your dimensions to the data input boxes. I'll complete quite a lot of work while we stay in the sketch commando. This has pros and cons. It will go faster in the beginning, but I won't have the opportunity to isolate actions in the timeline which can have a negative effect later. I'm going to fill at the corners before I add holes and not the other way around. You can stay in the commando and add all edges. Just edit the radius in one spot and the rest will adjust. You also see that a small dot appeared. I'll place a circle here. You can use the circular pattern tool to place the other circles. Select your circle, your center point and add the total number of circles you want including your original one. Now add a circle to the center of your sketch. Press D and activate the dimension tool. I'm going to set my circle to be 90% of the side dimension. Just click the dimension and type times 0.9. If you edit the side, your circle will follow along. You need to include the base though, otherwise it will just be strange. And by the way, 219% is just something that I made up. You can use other dimensions. Create a small circle in the middle. I'll set this to 10% of the side. Let's test it. Now you need to create a line. One line is enough. You will use the circular pattern tool to create the rest. Press and hold your left mouse button. An option allows you to select the line under the line. Select the center point and set your total number of lines to 4. Activate the line tool with keyboard shortcut L and create a horizontal line in the middle. Activate Fusion 360 design shortcuts with keyboard shortcut S and search for, for the rectangular pattern tool. Your line is your object. Your distance is 90 mm. You know that because your side is 200 millimeters and your circle has a diameter of 90% which is 180 and 180 divided by 2 is 90. This is the quick and dirty way to do it. A more solid approach would be to set the dimension to D2 that is your side times 0.9. You need to change to a symmetrical pattern and you need an odd quantity to get an even quantity. That might seem counterintuitive, but it makes sense because when you remove the original line from the calculations, you end up with 10 of each item on each side. You can jump straight from the sketch tool to the extrude commando by pressing keyboard shortcut E. You can go any distance that suits you. I'll go with 3 mm because it feels right. You have a solid base. Let's create that curved well. Turn on your sketch. In retrospect, I wish I made that rectangular pattern as an isolated event in the timeline. It would have been easier to select it. Create the web. You find it in the create drop down menu, but I prefer the design shortcuts menu. Hold shift and select all lines you want to include in your action. I'll go with a thin thickness 
and 10 mm distance. Leaving the check box extend curves checked is a mistake, but it gives me an opportunity to show you how to correct mistakes like those easily. You also need to extrude your circle in the middle. This is, a, this is not the prettiest way to get it done, but it gets done. Extrude it to the top of your web. Let's create a smooth shape. Your diameter is 180 millimeters. Start a new sketch and make sure that you choose a construction plane centralized in your circle. Create a line that, it, that is equal to your radius, that is 90 millimeters. Now create a line from your center point to the top of your web. Create a third line, and I should have made this earlier, that has the same height as your original body, that is 3 millimeters. Now create an arc. This arc sets the boundary for the cut through your web. You can use any shape you wish. Let's finish this sketch. I'll just make something big enough here. The purpose is to cut away the parts we don't want from the web. The exact measurements doesn't matter if we are bigger than the web. Just make sure that you don't cut away the base. Activate Revolve and select the center as your axis. Your web is cut, but you need to correct two mistakes. Your holes are filled with parts of the web. Activate the first sketch in the timeline and trim away the lines that interfere with the circles. Then activate the web in the timeline and uncheck extended curves. Turn off your sketch and enjoy your work. Add a good looking appearance or, or material and enjoy your work. I recommend you subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I also have a small, small favor to ask. Hit like or drop a comment if you enjoyed the tutorial or have any feedback. Thank you.